enormous, enormous devastation. Anything that was in the basement is gone. That means we have tenants, for instance, who have their art production, perhaps a lifetime's worth of work, uh, stored in some of our rental units in the basement, gone. Artists who had their equipment for making art, it's gone. People who left their musical instruments in rehearsal rooms downstairs, gone. Our equipment, our stock rooms, our carpentry shop, our plumbing shop, our employee rest, everything is gone. This is the artist residence, and the Hudson River came in and uh, basically wiped everything away. It was flooding all the way up to the back staircase. Couldn't get out the back door. Water was spraying in. It's terrible. It, um, the level of the water was all the basement was full of water. We have no power. We have, because it's a tall building, the water supply works by electric pumps pumping water from the city main to the roof. We can't do that. I'm a painter and I'm at West Beth and I've been here since the building opened in January of 1970. I'm on the ninth floor, I cannot walk up the stairs, so I'm stuck here. There's a lot of concern in this building because there's, I think over 75%, over 75 in age in this building. The needs of older people um, become uh, become greater. We are trying to help some people, some residents to move. We have elderly people and they need help. I've been taking care of my mom. My mom is bedridden right now because of an accident. Um, I'm a visual artist just like my mom is. I'm a third generation. Hurricane Sandy put more heart into my work. This experience certainly will test you and you either can go, you can sink or swim as a result of it. I'm finding more beauty in my day-to-day -day personal interactions with people, my fellow neighbors and people on the street, as a result of this crisis. Yes, it is what it is, you know? What can you do? What can you say? It's pretty, it's pretty distressing. Um, I'm in the middle of college right now, so everything had to be put on hold. The greatest thing, particularly the people who live here, can bring to the situation is patience and understanding. This is a catastrophe far beyond West Beth. You learn how people really behave. Most of the people that we've had contact with have been wonderful. One or two not so, but the majority, yes. Everything is temporary, you know? We are only temporary. All of this is temporary, so. All right, what happens now? You tell me, you know? That remains to be seen, you know what I mean?